I'm uh, happy to take questions. Uh, I remain focused on success uh, academies. Uh, the children of these families, uh, I love the children of these families. I love our, uh, our educators. I love our school design. And at this time, I will not be entertaining any prospective opportunities. I believe I can best serve our country's children by continuing to expand success academies, developing best educational practices that can be used around the country, and by working as a private citizen to advance educational reform at the na national level, just as I have done in New York. Like many Americans, I voted for Hillary Clinton. And I was frankly disappointed by the result of this election. However, that has nothing to do with my decision about remaining at Success Academy. President-elect Trump has expressed strong support for school choice, the notion that parents should be able to choose the schools that they attend. This is one of the most powerful education reform ideas ever. Uh, he believes that school choice can provide an opportunity for all Americans. And I agree with Mr. Tr President-elect Trump, and I stand ready to support his efforts in any way I can. I will work with him and whomever he selects as the next education secretary to increase educational opportunities for American families. And I'm troubled by what I see as a sort of rooting for Trump's failure, because that is rooting for our own failure. Many presidents change when they assume office and realize that they now need to represent all Americans. As an American historian, I will remind you that when Lyndon Johnson was a congressman, he spent two decades opposing civil rights, two decades. When he became president, he passed the most sweeping package of civil rights legislation that this country had ever seen. There are many positive signs that President Trump will be different than candidate Trump. Meeting with Mayor de Blasio recently certainly sing signals that he is trying to listen to new voices. As Hillary Clinton said, we need to give Trump a chance to lead those of us who opposed Mr. Trump's election can't go around hoping that Trump will prove us right. I read an article the other day in the New York Times claiming that Mr. Trump's transition efforts must be in disarray because the Prime Minister of Egypt and Israel got to speak to Trump to, to, to congratulate him one day before Britain's prime minister did. That's ridiculous. When the Times takes nearly daily pot shots at president-elect's transition team, they are using up ink that should be spent on the challenges our country faces and that Mr. Trump needs to address. And nowhere is that more true than in education. Like President Obama and like me, Trump supports school choice because he sincerely believes it will improve our country's educational system. I will work with the president-elect and with both Democrats and Republicans in Congress to help dramatically increase 
educational opportunities for all our country's children. Success Academy stands to build a national model and dramatically improve access to equity and excellence. And I look forward to standing with them as we show the nation what our kids and dedicated educators can do. And by the way, if I left and went to DC, who would keep their eyes on Mayor de Blasio? <laughs> Uh, I can only take one question at once. Say again. I asked you the same question. What was discussed at the meeting you had yesterday with Mr. Trump and were you offered the job? Uh, I don't talk publicly about uh, private conversations. Well, you brought up here today that the shortage of middle schools isn't just a New York City problem, it's a national problem. Just on that topic alone, can you sort of confirm that you brought that up? To the oh, I can't stop talking about education. Uh, I never have a meeting without bringing up uh, the topic. Uh, and so I'm always talking about the crisis in public education and the fact that we don't have a lot of time. We do not have a lot of time to solve this problem. We have to act urgently. We are losing generations of children. This great country of ours is losing generations of children. And it's only the super elite who can find an exit strategy. Everybody else is stuck with schools that are not working and have not been working often for half a century. The only topic that I have been talking about seemingly for the last 15 years uh, is, is the topic of schools. And that's what I'm passionate about. And I honestly believe that K-12 education needs to be transformed in this country. And I plan to do my part. And I take the president-elect at his word that he deeply cares about this issue. And I want to be on the team to help this nation and that problem. And I think that what Success Academies is doing with our families, with our de dedicated educators, gives us an incredible shot, an incredible opportunity to have a proof point. There is no problem with the children. The children are not the problem. The children have never been the problem. That's not to say we don't have a few Trumper Nicks amongst our children, but they are not the problem. The problem is a system that destines children to failure. And that is the problem we must take on. It's gonna take a bipartisan effort. It is gonna take the citizenry. It is gonna take all of us and ingenuity to work ourselves out of the situation that we're in because it is a bad situation and we need to stop denying that the quality of schooling in this country is poor it is very poor thank you very much what would you say to families thank you that was the last to be deported question. by president-elect trump you about your meeting with him I am not running for mayor. I do not know <laughs> she would be how many times I need to tell you. I don't know why you don't trust me. <laughs> I, aren't I honest? Yes. yes. But you would be so good. I always to tell the truth. I am definitively saying that I am with these people here. Yes. Can you answer my question about Union Square? <laughs>